pass. Everybody got the uh, banana blueberry? Who doesn't have it? We got it. Thank you. We got it. You got it? Okay. All right. Let's play with this one. So I've got my water somewhere. I did. All right. I got talking so much, I got to start over. All right. That's empty. Okay, um, one and a half quarts of water, one and a quarter pounds of sugar. So let me work on the sugar over here. Any differences in sugar that you use? Oh, good question. Poor Jeff, he's not here to defend himself. I always tell people sugar is sugar is sugar. Buy the cheapest sugar you can find. The only difference between this stuff from our uh, supermarkets here in Florida called Publix, this is a Publix brand, and the only difference between this and Domino is the price and the packaging. They're the same sugar out of the same place. Well, Jeff went into a fit over that. He says, yeah, but this clumps up and this one doesn't. So I opened this one up and there were these big, huge clumps in it. <laughs> you know, it's just a matter of moisture. And I said, Jeff, it's so hard if it's clumpy, you can't go like this you know, to, to break it up to save save a buck. What really gets me though is, all right, how much sugar is in this package? Who knows? Four pounds. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> yes. It used to be a five pound bag. It's now four pounds. It screwed up all my uh, formulas. Four pounds. Ah, oh, I know. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like Starbucks with their pound of coffee. It's 12.5 ounces. Uh, one and a half quarts of water, uh, one and a quarter pounds of sugar. All right, let me get working here. Let's see, 16. So I want 1.4. Talking to people and not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, what's it to you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, we've got the uh, sugar and the water. Um, Everything else just goes in the machine. Great. All right, who wants to come up and help? You, you want to come up. Come on up. Okay, make sure the gate's closed. And I found that uh, if you, Here? yes, if you rest this on the lid, it's going to spill everywhere. Try to put it up above. Like this? And before you do that, I'll make you feel bad. I only have one working eye, and I don't spill, so okay. good luck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay, so that's the sugar in the water. Um, anybody see a lemon? Yes, here we go. Can you cut that up for me? Of course. I was going to let this gentleman do it. There you go. Just cut that into some slices for me. The whole whole thing goes in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now put the lid on. Right there. Here? Yep. Now over here, where it says begin, hit begin. Okay. And we're going to make a Italian ice again, so hit Italian ice. Okay. And then hit uh, start. Okay. okay. Now turn on the refrigeration switch. Now you're making Italian ice. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can I add a little lemon? 
Wasn't that great? Now, the fun part. This is a great looking banana for eating, and this one not so nice. This one makes better ice cream because it's got the, the sugar content of it, the fructose content is much higher than this. The older and worse looking they get, the better they are. I thought I was so smart because I went into the green grocer and I said, you know what, you can't sell those brown bananas, and especially when they get black, so um, uh, I'll, I'll buy them from you for half price. And I thought that was pretty cool. Well, Gary the curmudgeon uh, up in uh, Massachusetts said, Steve, you're a rookie. I walk in and say, hey, green grocer, those black bananas, you're going to have to throw them out. They're going to take up space in your garbage uh, bin, and you're going to have to pay to remove them. I'll, I'll take them off your hands for free. Now with the uh, bigger machine, this one, you can just drop whole bananas in, which is a lot of fun. But you're going to get a great flavor uh, by being able to you know, put bananas you know, right into the mix. Banana what? It's, I'm doing it mainly for flavor. Your consistency is coming from the sugar. I do this at Penn State when I teach because it drives the competition absolutely batty because they can't do anything like this. They can't put anything in their machines. Their freezing cylinders are so thin, they're nothing more than spaghetti pots, that uh, you'll damage the freezing cylinder. Uh, our freezing times are six times thicker, and uh, so anything can go into the machine. Our dashers are stronger, our uh, drive motors are uh, better. This is an all-American machine with a couple of exceptions. It has uh, the drive system, uh, which is a transmission and a motor, is made for us in Germany. And the uh, keypad is Panasonic, but made in the USA. Uh, everything else here is made in the USA. Oh, four pounds. Yeah. And there's blueberries in there too, isn't it? I have to go get the blueberries. I'll be right back. Now every time I add something in here, I'm adding more fructose, I'm adding more sugar. So um, the, the freezing time is going to get a little bit longer. Um, well, bananas are sweet. Blueberries are sweet. 
you're, it's like you're adding more sugar to the formula. So the, long, the more sugar, the longer the freezing time. And so that's why I don't want this machine shutting off at eight minutes uh, because it won't be ready. This may take about 16, 17 minutes. Oh, I don't know. It just, I guess it depends on the size. Oh no, the second I turned on that refrigeration, the, the timing started. Um, let me check this. This is ready. Turn off the refrigeration. And let me see. Well, let's put it in one of those nice sorbet gelato containers. Now you asked about consistency. There is a firmer consistency. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Anybody got a selfie stick? Hi, sweetie. Do you have kind of a, a, a figure that you use for price? I know, I know Jeff does five and he can get five or whatever, but I mean, do you have like a ballpark figure in your head that you think is a good all around starting price for a, for a high speed phone? Oh, sure. Uh, slightly higher than the competition in town. Because. <laughs> Because how are you, if you're too high, you're not going to sell it. How are you going to prove you're better if you don't cost more? Right. I mean, the Cadillac and the Chevy Impala come off the same production line, just different chrome, chrome and different interiors. It's the same car. It costs 15, 20,000 more. How are you going to know it's a Cadillac if you don't pay 20,000 more for it than a Chevy? And that's really, I mean, sometimes pricing boils down to that. You can do all the math max in the world, but it comes down to what's the competition getting. If the going rate for a steak in a high-end restaurant, it's $32. You're not going to be $47. Right. Um, so let, let's, say, let's say the 150 miles away is, or 25 miles away is, is 3 bucks. So when you say slightly more, would you say 3 and a quarter? 350. 350. Yeah, I can always come down, but I can't go up as easily. Right. Uh, right. People have long memories. Well, I remember an aught six that you were only getting five cents for. <laughs> you know, sorry. Um, so. I have not tasted this, but it looked good on paper. So let's see what we got. Hi, sweetie. Um, let's move this over because Sadie's not going to move. She has started this new thing, and in 13 years, she has barked once, and that was at my brother-in-law, who has an office here, uh, once. And um, now she has caught on, because she was sick and because we were pampering to her more than we ever do, uh, she has caught on that all she has to do is go up to someone and bark at them, and she won't stop until you give her a cookie. So she stands out in front of Bill's office, because he's got cookies, and she barks at his office. She comes up to us in the middle of the night because she woke up and she goes, bark, bark, you know, <laughs> and it's just, that, she can get away with it. I'm looking for a spatula. Um, here, I'll use this. Okay. 
We're gonna need more spoons. I think this should be pretty interesting. No, she had some. Yes, yeah, uh, six quarts or six liters. The barrel is actually bigger than six quarts, but we advertise it at six. And that's another thing that drives me nuts. Everybody else advertises their barrel, uh, their capacity, they call it, by if you took the barrel and stood it on end and filled it with water without the dasher in it, how much water would it hold? And then they call it a six quart machine. It'll never make six quarts, it'll only make three because you don't fill the barrel up and you don't have the dasher in it. We rate every machine by finished capacity. How much actually comes out? Hi. At the store? Um, no, I'm, I'm great. We'll be ready for lunch when you get back. Thank you. Come on up. There you go. A little more? More this year, more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oops. Oh, sorry. Got it. Oh, now you wake up. <laughs> oh, no. We're moving the nose. Steve, did you find that at all? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. So you kind of just have gotten a feel for how long? I'd say it was about 16 minutes. We usually do ices in about 12 or 13. <laughs> Yes, but you write down what you made. Don't be like me. Uh, write down what you made on a file card. Every time you make a different uh, test batch, write it down because one day you're going to hit the great batch and you're going to say, uh oh, what did I do? And, and it drives you nuts. The other thing is there's a, a group of people out there that can help you expand your business dramatically, and that is off-duty policemen and firemen. They are policemen and firemen. They're not in the ice cream business, and not unless until they do their 20 and out. And they're not going to steal your formulas. They could care less. They all have off-duty jobs. And who better to come in at 2 in the morning and make your product while you're asleep, and you just give them a formula, and they know to stick with it. Almost everyone here working is, uh, I have no military background at all, but almost everyone here has a, a, an uh, armed forces background. And it's just the most wonderful workforce I've ever had because they are used to coming to work and getting a job done. Um, whereas in the Bronx, you know, it was everybody was like, uh, you know, I can work until one and then Oprah comes on and I've got to go. I got to go see her. How is this? Is this good? Excellent question. Yeah, I can barely hear you, Jack. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Tell them to just buy a machine. No, yes, you can show, no, the, the, I told you, our, uh, this is being run out of here in Texas today. Um, yes, you can ship ice cream, but interesting, your problem is not packing it up in dry ice and packaging and all that. It's just that uh, FedEx and the other air services are only allowed by law to take a certain amount of dry ice on the plane, uh, and, that's, and it's not very much. It might be five or six packages in total. Um, I think it goes back to that problem we had in Florida when the plane went down because they had those generators on board and they started smoking and if they'd had, there was nothing wrong with them. What was wrong with them, there were too many on the flight. Okay, the difference between Italian ice and sorbet. That's Italian ice. That's sorbet. I'm going to get $1.50 for this and I'm going to get about $5.50 for this. 
It's, that's the only difference. People will argue. You can argue it all day long. Oh, but sorbet has cream in it. Yeah, if you want to put some in, too. Uh, you could say sorbet has tapioca if you want to put tapioca in, but I don't know why you would. Same product, different pricing. Uh, I'm going to sell uh, at a Little League game lemon, cherry, grape, orange, chocolate, rainbow. Uh, to a high-end restaurant, I'm going to sell kiwi, mint, apricot, champagne. Uh, same sugar and water, just different flavors. You can have a little look. Here, come over here for a second. Because it's, a, it's not dairy. It's sugar and water. And uh, so it comes out ready. It's, it's a difference between dairy and, uh, and uh, non-dairy. Does this also get better in eight hours? No. It just gets gone faster. <laughs> this is delicious. Uh, that is good. I surprised myself. <laughs> Take that, Jeff. <laughs> Here, let me uh, move this. I'll be right back.